What's good YouTube? Jabal back with Abdul Aesthetics. I'm really getting a lot of feedback on the relationship videos that I put out and I truly appreciate everybody who takes the time to watch it. And I'm not just saying that, I really mean that. Spill a little bit of water on my shirt. Today, we're definitely gonna talk about a very important topic as it pertains to existing relationships. And that is toxicity in relationships. I know a lot of people have problems with the word toxicity. They just feel as though it's overused and you know people are running out with the word. But it is a very big problem in a lot of relationships. And when to take responsibility, I'm actually going to cover both of these topics in this video. The first thing is understand that toxicity in relationships, there, there are a lot of toxic people. It's not just something that people say just to sound cool. I mean, people may do it, but it's actually a very serious problem. It's a very serious thing. What I mean by that is when you are in a relationship to where this person means you no good, they constantly throw red flags at your face, they constantly show you that you shouldn't be with them, they constantly put you down, they constantly do things that annoy you, they constantly do things that in a regular circumstance would jeopardize a different relationship, i.e. a different person would see these things and they would completely leave that person alone, but because of whatever reason you decide to stick around, that person will in turn bring you down. When we get in a situation, and I'm probably going to end up saying this a few more times, when we get in a situation where we really just want to be with somebody, we tend to accept any and everything that they do. It's not really the best thing to do, but that's what we do. It's kind of a double-edged sword, if you will, where on one side, we, we're in a relationship, everything is cool with us, but on the flip side, it's the other person that's bringing the whole thing down. You can't climb if someone is bringing you down. When you get into a situation like that, you have to understand that it's not your fault that this person is the way they are, but it's your fault if you stick in that relationship. If you stick by this person, knowing that they're not good for you, they treat you a certain type of way. They constantly put you down. They don't mean you any good at all. It is your fault. Whatever bad thing happens from that point on is completely on you. That person is not absolved from what they do, but they are. They, they don't even matter at this point because they've shown you that they're gonna continue to do that. You, you have to put yourself in a situation to where you value your time, your energy, your love, your consistent nature to be good to somebody. You have to value all of that shit because if you don't value it, you're just gonna allow people to treat you all kind of way. It sucks, but that's what people do. That's just what people do. And you tend to make excuses as to why things are the way they are. Oh, it's not this person doing that. I could have did this better. I could have did that better. I could have did. You put all the blame on you and outside sources instead of looking inside and seeing that the person that you are with means you no good. They are a very toxic individual. They mean you no good. And I can just keep going on and on and on, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to ramble. You definitely need to come to terms with the fact that some people are just no good for you. Regardless of how compatible you think you may be, some people have made the decision that they're going to be the way they are and they're not going to change. They're just not going to change. They're going to they're going to continue to do things to they're going to continue to scheme, they're going to continue to to put people down, they're going to continue to act the way they act, and if that's something that you feel as though you want to be a part of, then stick with that person. We all make decisions and we all make choices. We all have choices to make and we all have decisions to make. If you decide to stick with somebody who means you no good, who has shown you consistently, routinely, that they mean you no good, and a lot of bad things happen, it's your fault. It really is your fault. You have to take responsibility for that. In any situation in your life, you play a part because you were there. It sucks, but that's just how life is. You have to love yourself enough to tell this person, I can't be with you anymore. I can't take this anymore. I've learned to love myself. I've learned to value my time. I've learned to value my energy. And I can't give it to you anymore. You have to take responsibility for the situations that you play a part in, whether you believe that or not. It's the truth. It really is the truth. 
So definitely understand that there are very toxic people out here in the world. And a lot of them come in the form of girlfriends and boyfriends, relationships, however you wanna call it. It's up to you to decide whether or not you're gonna allow this person to continue to hurt you. You're gonna allow this person to continue to get over on you, do you all kind of way. It's also up to you to decide that it's you're not gonna deal with it anymore. You're gonna move on, you're gonna have a great life. You're gonna find somebody who actually values and cherishes you. And you're not gonna just stick with somebody just because you don't wanna be alone. If you don't wanna be alone, you have to love yourself inside. You have to fix yourself on the inside. Make yourself the greatest version of yourself. Find somebody who else is on that path and start a relationship with them. It's kind of like having kids. I personally believe that if you have kids, you should get into a relationship with somebody who has kids because it's kind of hard to, I mean, it's not impossible to date someone who has kids, but it's kind of like a level of understanding that kind of only comes along with if you've had kids or you've had to take care of, you know, people. But all in all, man, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. New videos on the way. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Love yourself. I can't stress this enough. You have to love yourself. You have to love your time. You have to cherish the most important things in life that you have because you never know when they can be gone. They can be gone like that. So here again, man, like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, deuce. See that? Correct.